To Commerce City now, where a community-based nonprofit is raising concerns about what's in the air. Earlier this month, Coltivando released the result of a one-year air monitoring project. Yeah, it was performed by nonprofit Boulder Air, partly funded by Suncor's historic settlement with the state. Connor McHugh shows us those results and the push for more monitoring moving forward. People who are living here are feeling angry. They're feeling unheard. With the Suncor refinery and countless other industrial neighbors, the people of Commerce City have long had air quality concerns. It's a reality Olga Gonzalez knows all too well. People have nosebleeds, headaches, breathing problems. For the past year now, Gonzalez's organization, Cultivando, has been working to figure out why. Now they're sharing the results for the first time. I think after a year, we have both a lot of answers and a lot of questions. Those questions and answers all start with a community-focused air monitoring project with several partner organizations like nonprofit Boulder Air. There's a monitor for ozone. There's a monitor for nitrogen oxides. For the past year, Detlev Helmig's fixed and mobile air monitors captured countless spikes of pollutants in the air, including benzene, particulates, VOCs, and even radioactivity. They also measured hydrogen sulfide, finding readings above the odor threshold close to 8,000 times. In comparison, a monitor in Broomfield found no spikes at all. This is not, you know, a little bit dirtier, a little bit more. This is a lot more. By using wind conditions, Helmick's study found oftentimes those spikes appear to come from the area of Suncor, but there are many contributors around the area. Other partners use cameras to capture volatile organic compounds being released into the air like this. There appear to be much more severe health effects in the community than what previously has been explained by long-term average measurements. I think this really validates what people are feeling. Moving forward, Gonzalez says the monitoring will continue, and in the meantime, Cultivando will push the state to change permitting requirements for polluters like Suncor. It feels like there's been very little consequence to them. We are hopeful that this will bring about that change, that people will have answers, that we will have some solutions for them. In a statement, Suncor says it's supportive of all air monitoring efforts, pointing out that it launched its own program more than a year ago. It does, though, dispute some of the findings in this report, saying their own readings have been below state and federal guidelines. In Commerce City, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.